A Greenville comedian is bringing laughter to a growing audience with her new dry bar special. Shivana Nataraja is joining us in studio. Welcome and congratulations. That's huge. Thank you so much. Happy New Year, Margaret. Happy New Year for sure. First, you know, for people who don't know you, tell us a little bit about how long you've been in comedy, what got you started. Yeah, for sure. So I've been in comedy now for nine years. Mm -hmm. I started in 2014 here in Greenville, South Carolina. Been a resident uh, since like 2010. Yeah. And um, I've always been a funny person. I always told funny stories growing up as a kid. And I uh, took an improv class with Alchemy Comedy Theater. And my instructor was like, hey, you got to try out for an open mic. So I went to an open mic, and I haven't stopped ever since. I always admire anybody who's in your line of work. I mean, <laughs> this, this takes guts. And I'm told that you combine your HR expertise with your comedy. Talk about that. Yeah, so I am uh, a senior HR director at a biotech company. Mm -hmm. And I really feel like there is a place for humor in the workplace. Yeah. So. For 2024, I'm kind of combining both things of a Venn diagram. I'm doing keynote discussions. I'm helping companies with their Very speech cool. writing. Um, I definitely think that funny stories can connect us all. Yeah, we, we connect over comedy. Uh, colleagues do the same. You're, your parents, I, I love your stories because your parents are from Sri Lanka. You tell a lot of great stories about them. And, and before we get into that, I want to play a clip from your dry bar special. I've got someone on the case to find me a man. It's my dad. <laughs> my father loves to scour LinkedIn and find South Asian men for me. <laughs> he calls me every Sunday and he's like, Shani, Shani, I found this great chap for you, okay? His name is Baba Kumar. He is in the biotech too. <laughs> you know, maybe you can connect with him and the connections will happen and you will connect. And I was like, stop saying connect. <laughs> like, oh no, you know, you on the book of the faces, the Instagram, you know, something will develop, something will happen, it will develop. And I was like, yeah, Appa, in this country, what will develop is a restraining order. Uh, we, we love this. You, you know, a lot of the comedy obviously comes from your upbringing, your parents, these situations. Um, your parents even had hacks to be thrifty you, you yes. talk about. Tell me about those. Yeah, so my parents never bought Tupperware. You know, uh -huh. there was always yogurt containers and margarine containers. A lot of parents do that. And I always tell people, you know why you can't believe it's not butter? It's because it's goat curry. That's <laughs> what's go in that's, that curry. That, that's a big surprise. <laughs> uh, hotel soaps, that was yes, a big part of your stock, yes. too. I thought that, like... Howard Johnson and Holiday Inn Express were brands no. of soaps. The Crown Plaza soap, though, you can't... Coveted. you got to save it. It's for the guests. Um, blending of the holidays, too. You talk about how your family, they, they found another way to be thrifty. Maybe you get a Christmas tree, 75% um, off. There's ornaments that you Yeah, have. yeah. And if you're celebrating Easter, um, I know it comes on Sunday, but my mom would say, you know, Shivani, your Easter bunny comes four days later. It's 75% off. You know, <laughs> that works. They must be... What do they think when they come to one of your shows, when they hear your comedy? You know what? My father loves it, but now he, like, tells me stories, and he's like, don't use this in your comedy special. Well, it has to go now because he knows that otherwise you would just use them. Exactly. Uh, the bartering, is that still happening? And does it work at Ashley Furniture? It does not work mm -hmm. at Ashley Home no. Furniture. It does not. But you got to love them for trying, and that was, like, their biggest thing is you got to at least try. Uh -huh. What's the worst that can happen? They can just say no. And when you started to realize that you were a funny kid, you know, th this opens a lot of doors, but but you're funny for for knowing your family situations, for being able to find that levity. Uh, exactly. What is it that, that just kind of carries you forward? So when I was 13, we moved from Canada mm -hmm. to Auburn, Alabama. So yeah, like I major culture shock. Uh -huh. And um, my cafeteria table, like where we ate lunch, I would just share stories. I started doing impressions of my parents. And it got people asking, well, I don't know anyone from Sri Lanka. I don't know anyone that's yeah. Hindu. What is this language you speak? So, yes, the punchline brings them in, uh -huh. but the rest really educates them. It opens their mind to maybe connections or interactions they wouldn't normally have. And that's how I want to apply humor into the workplace. Well, and you think about being the new kid at school. Being funny is a superpower to, to gain friends. That still works in the office. 
in the workplace too. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I tell everyone that my comedy has really accelerated my career. <laughs> that college degree ways. also helped out too. Yeah, <laughs> that too. Um, does uh, does your dad still go to Taco Bell? He does not. He does not. But he does love Ruby Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a lot of gift cards to Ruby Tuesday. You'll hear <laughs> all about it in my dry bar comedy special. Oh, um, so fun. He just needs a ride there. So if you're around in the Auburn, Alabama area, um, he's got Ruby Tuesday gift cards for days. He'll take you to lunch for the ride. That That's good. I love how they package all that together. And now this dry bar special, this is a huge deal uh, for comedian. Tell us how it happened and, and what a big deal it is. I'm super fortunate. Um, you know, comedy took a huge hit during COVID. Um, a lot of theaters were shut down. Um, and I had a friend that reached out to me, um, Laura Ansley uh, Entertainment Presents, that went viral and mm -hmm. went virtual yeah. and so uh, I started doing shows for companies I did clean comedy comedy for everyone and it really accelerated my my comedy um, career and so someone saw me um, actually on a segment here at yeah. Access Carolina I that. and um, gave me this opportunity to perform with dry bar comedy gotcha. it's a platform out of Utah it's comedy for everyone they have millions of followers worldwide and uh, this is just the beginning. Well, you are such a talent, and it's such a pleasure every time we talk with you. We hope to do it again Thank soon. You. You're also a South Asian home cook. You get that from your ama, Shivani. Thank you yes. so much. We really appreciate you. <laughs> Shivana Nataraja is available for bookings through Gig Salad for stand-up, keynote speaking, and hosting events. You can learn more online or follow her on social media. We'll have that info and this story on accesscarolina.com.